that you have arrived at. You have arrived at that level of let's work together, let's put the city first, and let's learn how to disagree, and let's learn how to still work for the betterment of the city. Yes. Right. And I believe we can do that. Yeah. I believe, I believe we, we can, can too. But as I said, is you know, I do these interviews a whole lot. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I feel where you're going. But, you know, um, when you're in that ring mm -hmm. and uh, you feel all that you say here, but they still don't agree with you, how are you going to dig down deep and continue the battle? Well, I, I still would have to vote my conscience. Sure. So regardless of uh, whether they agree yes. or disagree, yes. I still have to vote my conscience. I still um, have to vote in the best interest of the residents sure. of Plainfield. And if we, as a, uh, if the council would see through the eyes of the residents sure. and vote the best interest of the city, the city would be a lot better off and not vote just for interest groups or because of uh, secret agendas. Sure. <laughs> uh, a lot of that goes on. <laughs> yes, it does. In, in Plainfield. Yes. In, um, I imagine in, in, in every state in, 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 in every state, in, <laughs> exactly, every in every state. state. So, you know, yes. but we have to see through the eyes of the residents and what's, what's in the best interest of the city of Plainfield. You know, I have interviewed um, many uh, politicians and being a child of the civil rights movement, you know, I was born 100 uh, uh, years after emancipation, 1963. I was right. called my mother's freedom child, and she always reminded me of slavery, of uh, our freedom. In fact, we, I'm going to Georgia January, uh, uh, January 3rd of next year to celebrate 150 years of freedom, and I honor that. You know. There's a lot of questions that I wouldn't ask a black politician years ago mm -hmm. because I counted on your vote or I counted on your action. But I've learned from uh, the many interviews and uh, the many elections and then uh, those in office and their performance that I have to ask the same questions I would ask anybody else. And I want to step out on a limb and ask you, when you get in office, do you have a problem saluting the American flag? Absolutely not. Um, it is an honor. First of all, it's an honor to be an American. I, I had the opportunity a couple of weeks ago to travel to Turkey. Oh, wow. I, and my mission in Turkey was to meet with um, Islamic leaders. Sure and Christian leaders and see how we can better, uh, how we can bridge the communication gap and how we could uh, better understand each other. Sure. And it was a wonderful, wonderful mission. If I can go to Turkey and, and, and meet with people who uh, believe a different religion than I do, but we can still get along and we can still respectfully disagree. I still honored their country and they honored our country, you know, so it is an honor to be an American. It's an honor to be able to salute the flag. Too many people have died, sure. have lost their lives, you know, because of this red, white, and blue, sure. you know, and I think as American citizens, you know, it, it should be an honor and a privilege to be able to stand and to salute the flag. And uh, say the Pledge of Allegiance as well. Yes, absolutely, to say the Pledge of Allegiance, absolutely. Yes. I, I had to ask that right there. You know, I, I, I said uh, a few weeks ago in a, um, a march that I held in front of a city hall, I said, you know, I'm going to have to step up what I do and just come out and ask questions that I just right. automatically just took for granted. I just said, hey, you do that. What ticket are you running on? Under? Are you Republican or Democrat? I'm a Democrat. Oh, okay. I'm a lifelong Democrat. Okay. Are you a new Democrat or are you just you you Democrat? I'm just a regular, regular old Democrat, fashioned old fashioned <laughs> Democrat. John F. Kennedy. Exactly. exactly. Barack Obama. Oh, exactly. Let's just make this clear. Democrat. Just a regular Democrat. Nothing in front of it, nothing behind it. Just 
a Democrat? Well, you know, Reverend uh, Tracy Brown, I'm saying your name for the internet. Um, I wish you all the luck. I, I, I pray that you get in office because we really need people that's, that's really sincere. And so many times that we have elected people that just step up with the words but don't have the surgery. I lived down the street from your church years ago. I know what you've done for South Second Street. <laughs> okay, I know what you've done for South Second Street. Uh, the transformation is like you guys in this church, Ruth Fellowship, have laid the, the groundwork for this whole block to be uh, 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 rejuvenated, renovated, whatever you want. You can build a high rise here now. Yes. But when I was here years ago, it was, it was quite rough. Yes. It was yes. quite rough. And I would see this red building down here. <laughs> you know what I mean? I would see this building right. down here. But I, I really see the work that you guys have done, not just uh, in the state, not just in the county, not just in Plainfield, but on South Second Street. So may God bless you. Thank you. And uh, I would like to interview you again um, a week before the election and okay. to see how things are going. Okay, thank All you right. so much. Do you have the line that you would be on, the vote line? Yes, well, we're, we're on uh, line A. Line A, okay. Line A, and uh, June 5th. June 5th. We're looking for uh, all the residents of Plainfield to come out and vote because the best is yet to come. The best is yet to come. Okay, God bless. Thank you. Thank you.